Hello, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to factory reset your Toshiba Dynabook Tekra. In order to factory reset this laptop, you will um, need to go to the settings and you need to know your password. So if you don't know the password to your um, laptop, then to factory reset it, you will actually need to install Windows from USB and there is a video on our channel on it. So you can just watch on how to install Windows from USB on this device. Mm. Although I um, do have access, so this video is gonna be for those that do have access to their account. Just go to the settings, then Windows Update, and now um, go to Advanced Options, then find Recovery and find Reset this PC. Click on Reset PC, and now you can select whether you want to keep your personal files but remove apps and settings, or to remove everything. I'm gonna remove everything and now I'm gonna just wait until um, it asks me for the next thing. So now it asks me if I want to do a cloud download or a local reinstall. And I'm gonna select the local reinstall because it's a bit faster and the cloud download just downloads the freshest version of Windows, but I would use the cloud download only if something is corrupted in the system. Mm, now there is also something important when you change settings. There is the clean data, and this is important because mm, <clears throat> in case you are selling your laptop, I would recommend setting it to yes, but it'll make the um, reset time take maybe even hours, depending on how many files you have on your laptop and how big your drive is. Um, but I would recommend setting it to yes because it'll just clean the drive fully. Although I don't really have any important... Um, I mean, I'm, I'm not really planning on selling this laptop, so I'm gonna leave that on no, then click on confirm, click on next, wait a few seconds, then click on reset and now you just need to wait until it resets your laptop will probably restart up to two or three times during that process then it'll just be ready to be set up so don't click on anything and also another important thing is to have it plugged into power so it doesn't run out of power in the process because it may break something And now, as you can see, everything is a reset. Uh, it took me about 15 minutes and uh, it's ready to be set up. That's all for today. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you next time.